What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be taking a look at some of these art bars. And if you're new to stacking silver or gold, you probably don't know what an art bar is. So in this video, we're gonna go over that. I'm gonna teach you what exactly they are. I'm gonna show you how you can get bars like this at super cheap prices. And also once you get these silver bars, I'm gonna show you how you can convert this into something like this. So buckle up boys and girls, let's go. So you can see in front of us here, we've got a couple different coins in the back. We've got the Britannia, we've got a year of the go, we've got an Australian Kookaburro, we've got some generic coins or generic rounds rather. And uh, also we've got our art bars down here. So first and foremost, if you're new to stacking silver, maybe you don't know what an art bar is. Well, let me show you here. An art bar to me, and what most people consider an art bar, is a bar that's not really made by a major minting company, or maybe it was at one point and is now no longer minted. Something like this would be a great example of an art bar. You can see it's considered an art bar because it has some cool little art on it. Uh, you can say any of these coins have art as well. Yeah, these are all great pictures, but specifically to a bar, a generic bar like this, you know, you're gonna pick these up at a, uh, maybe a local coin shop, maybe a thrift store, a flea market, a garage sale. These are the kind of things that grandma and grandpa got way back in the day for 20 cents, a dollar, whatever it used to cost back in the day. But the cool thing with these, you can actually pick these silver bars up at your local coin shop, like I did, for fractions of the premium that they sell for online. I don't know if it's because the local coin shop owners are the older generations and maybe they're not on eBay to kind of like look this stuff up. I mean, you would think that one person running a business this day and age understands that eBay exists and that coins and bars like this um, actually sell on there. But whatever the reason is, when you go into a local coin shop, you can typically uh, find these kinds of bars for spot price or very, 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 very close to spot price. And in my local coin shops, they have a thing, it's called a junk bin. They, every shop might call it something different, but basically it's a box, a cigar box, where they throw in the little junk bars like this, the little art bars like that. And to a coin shop, these have no value. Because at the end of the day, coin shops really focus on American Eagles, Canadian Maple Leafs, all your coinage from around the world. Specifically in the US, they're really heavy on American Eagles. So when you go into a local coin shop, maybe yours is different than mine, but at least the ones that I've been to, it's not very common to walk in and walk out with a year of the goat Perth Mint coin. Yeah, they might have a couple on hand, somebody may have dropped some off, but you're not gonna go to a local coin shop, again, and like from my opinion here, and pick up decent looking coins like that. For the most part, you can get your American Eagles, you can get coinage, you know, different numismatic coins, graded coins, things like that. You can let them know what you're interested in. If they come across it, they'll give you a call. But for the most part, the art bar. This is where the money is in a local coin shop. Go straight to that junk bin, Find whatever you can find, and that's where you can make your money. That's where you can flip these into, into shinier silver, right? So let's just go down the line here, and we're gonna take a look at the Sitting Bull. This is probably one of my most favorite art bars. It's also one of the first art bars that I ever purchased from a local coin shop. I found this in my local coin shop's junk bin for exactly spot price. I don't know what spot cost at the time. This was years and years ago. But this here, right now, currently on eBay, is selling anywhere between $40 to $120. If you look at the sold listings, you can see probably the most recent one sold for right around $40. And today the spot price of silver is right around $15.75. So uh, depending on when you're watching this in the future, do with that information what you will. Now what's interesting about this little bar, it doesn't have a mint maker on it. If you did some research, you can actually figure out who made this. But one thing I do know for sure, it has a very low mintage. That means only about 5,200 of these are out in existence, assuming that they weren't ever melted down or lost throughout time. So this is a very cool piece of history. As you can see, it's actually a raised bar. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. You can see this is kind of like a 3D bar. Very cool, very different, and something that I just had to have. I didn't know what I was looking at when I purchased it, so I just picked it up, it was spot price. This here is a National Refiners Assayers Bar with a serial number on it. And this is actually a product of Canada, as you can see on the back, but this is from a bank. I personally don't really consider these art bars. Uh, if you go on eBay and all the different online dealers, you'll see that these are actually considered an art bar. I guess an art bar to them would be anything generic that's a bar, right? So these on eBay are selling currently between $25 and $35, and you can actually pick these up in your local coin shop for pretty close to spot, right? 
Now let's go over here to the silver bullet. Again, not the prettiest looking thing, but it's got some cool context. It's got a little bullet on it, so you're gonna attract a wider audience if you do go to sell this online. Not only are you gonna attract the silver investor, but you're also gonna attract somebody that's into firearms and pistols and things like that. Again, 999 fine, like everything we see here on the table, this is considered another art bar that you can pick up at a local coin shop for right around spot price. On eBay, what do you think they're selling for? I'll tell you right now, right around $30. So that's almost two times the price of spot. This one here is a unique one. This, I don't even remember how I got it. It may have been a coin shop in a junk bin. Again, one of those things where I see something that I've never seen before, I gotta pick it up. I'll do the research later. If it's a good price, we'll figure out what exactly it's worth and what I got. But this was something I never saw. I like the little unique uh, cut of it. It's a hexagon. These hexagonal uh, international silver trade unit rounds, where I guess we can call them bars, rounds, whatever you wanna call these, these are actually in high demand in the secondary market because they don't make these anymore. Most of these, they don't, all of these, they don't make anymore. So this one in particular, because it's a unique design and all that sort of jazz, it actually carries a very, very high premium online. I've seen these things here. Whew. These things online have sold upwards of 60, 80, maybe even $90. So these definitely carry a big high premium for the most part. You're probably gonna pick them up, uh, you know, if you do some research and you wait on the fence and, and you kind of wait for the price to hit right, maybe you can get it for about 40 bucks, right around there. Uh, but again, it doesn't look as nice as something like this, but it does have value. So when you go to these coin shops, don't be fooled by the old Dennett dirty dinged up stuff. Don't be fooled by any of that. Now these two little guys here are, are still one ounce bars. You can see they're a lot chunkier than these thinner bars here, but they're still, they all weigh the same. What is cool about these? These are MPM bars. One thing I can tell you for sure, if you search on eBay for this chunky little one ounce bar, you're not gonna find it. These are so hard to get your hands on. It's just impossible to find in the secondary market unless you're willing to spend top dollar. Now, something that I do on my show every single Wednesday, I go live, I host auctions, I give away some cool silver, we play some fun games, we talk about what's going on in the bullion world, and I recently auctioned off one of these for roughly $50. So I'm gonna basically base the value off of this off of what I sold it for because I cannot find the price of these currently online. If you find what these are worth or going for online, comment down below and let me know. But I can definitely tell you, when you see stuff out at a yard sale, a flea market, a garage sale, a coin shop, wherever you're at, whatever you're looking to buy, whether it's silver, gold, bronze, copper, platinum, I don't care what it is, if you've never seen it before, and it's old and dented and dinged up, and it's a very close to spot price, you'd be a fool not to pick it up. Now that's just my opinion on these guys. You can also do the damn thing and go pick up the nice shiny silver bars and coins and whatnot online. That's absolutely fine too. Now you can absolutely just go and continue stacking all your American Eagles, all your Canadian Maple Leaves. You can do all that to your blue in the face. But what I like to do is kind of like double down, right? I'll buy something like this at spot, I'll sell it for $40, and then I'll go pick up two of these bad boys. Or, you know, I'll sell these guys at an auction online on eBay, try to get top dollar for it, and then I'll turn that into more silver. Now, this is another one that I snuck in here. This is a baby's first Christmas from 2015. This is considered a round. I don't really consider this an art bar. Some will consider this an art piece, whatever you wanna call it. But these are generic pieces of silver who also carry a premium. What's interesting about this is even though it's 2015, if you go on eBay right now, uh, they're still having a premium. So you can buy this on eBay for about 30 to $35. And also you can go to your local coin shop, pick that up for pretty close to spot. So if you see what I'm doing here, guys, you kind of buy the old dirty stuff, turn it into new shiny stuff, and you have yourself a wonderful little journey there. That's all I really got for you guys in this video. If you want to see more, click the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hopefully I'll see you hanging out with me Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, where I give away some cool stuff. But that's it for me, everybody. I'll talk to you again real soon. Peace out, YouTube.